Yo, it's Sunday afternoon and the main bit, well, the teardown has got done. There's the front set of blades, which probably won't go back on. There's the 1.4 metre fiberglass blades. They are, they are very old, been repaired numerous times and fixed up. One of them's got a uh, big split, had a big split in it, which I fixed. Yeah, it was that one few bits where I fixed it. Uh, that is the drive shaft with the gears. The blade hub which is stuck on there. There's a bolt broken off inside there. It's not a big deal because it can't come off. Uh, you can see the three bearings. And there's the gear wheel. There's the one kilowatt motor. There's the motor cage as I'll call it uh, upside down the front and the back these things need to get, be gotten rid of this and this and then this needs moving up to approximately here and welding <clears throat> and welding in with the three kilowatt motor in there there's all the bits that came from the turbine and that's how it looks without anything on it uh, the tail doesn't really need to come off front bearing here, middle bearing here, and then final bearing there, and the blades are on here. This can stay on. Uh, the only time this would have to come off is, is if I decide to extend the tower, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that or not. But that is that for now. So the work is, in the next video, we'll get cracking on that, and we'll try and mount the We'll try and mount a three kilowatt motor in here as well as we can. These don't need to come off, there's just enough space for the three kilowatt to go on there. I don't know if you remember, I drilled a hole in the frame on either side, which matches up there. So, yeah, wicked. That is uh, quite a lot of it done. And the three kilowatt motor is wider than the one kilowatt one, but we'll get to that in the next video. Cheers.